Now, let me give you an example to show the enormous numbers you get with just a modest number of doublings. Legend has it that the game of chess was invented by a mathematician who worked for a king. The king was very pleased. He said, I want to reward you. And the mathematician said, my needs are modest. Please take my new chess board and on the first square place one grain of wheat. On the next square double a one to make two. On the next square double a two to make four. Just keep doubling till you've doubled for every square. That will be an adequate payment. Well, we can guess the king thought this foolish man. I was ready to give him a real reward. All he asked for is just a few grains of wheat. Well, let's see what's involved in this. We note there are eight grains on the fourth square. Now, I can get this number eight by multiplying three twos together. It's two times two times two. It's one two less than the number of the square. Now, that follows in each case. So, on the last square, I'd find the number of grains by multiplying 63 twos together. Now let's look at the way the totals build up. When we have one grain on the first square, the total on the board is one. We add two grains, that makes a total three. We put on four grains, now the total is seven. Seven is a grain less than eight, it's a grain less than three twos multiplied together. Fifteen is a grain less than four twos multiplied together. Well, that continues in each case, so when we're done, the total number of grains would be one grain less than the number I get multiplying sixty-four twos together. And my question is, how much wheat is that? You know, would that be a nice pile here in the studio? Would it fill the building? Would it cover the county to a depth of two meters? How much wheat are we talking about? The answer is it's roughly 400 times the 1990 worldwide harvest of wheat. Now that could be more wheat than humans have harvested in the entire history of the earth. You say, how'd you get such a big number? It was simple. We just started with one grain, but we let the number grow steadily till it had doubled a mere 63 times.